Hello everybody and welcome back to day 16 of designing an island in 30 days while doing the hard mode challenge. Now I've done a couple of things and I'm super prepared for today's video surprisingly. Firstly we did get a pink mom so I've just popped them over there and watered them all and some of my villagers are watering them too. I did cut down a couple more trees and do a little bit more of a clean up through the island and Kix was here so I bought a new brand new little bag you can see it. It also kind of changed my fit up. These glasses are so granny. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't have them before. But there's so much open space here. I really need to get that for a daily challenge, actually. I'll take that. Thank you very much. But I've just been planning today of doing a couple of different areas on the island. So I did place a couple of things down here. of Just a couple of, like, clothing items. And also I decided to fill in this space with a little fenced off area for where I can put all of my turnips. I don't really see myself buying more than 800 each time. So it fits all of them and it works perfectly. I think I could actually... Oh, we can, we can fit heaps in here. We can fit heaps in here. But I thought for over this side, at least for this little bit here, we could do, like, a food market. It, and then just continue a path through here just stock standard decorating things but I think getting like a stone oven and a proper like barista cafe spot here I think would be awesome and then I've got a couple of the big log benches so we can put two separate tables down here that's the plan for over here and then additionally I was going to decorate Klaus's house but I'm not too sure what to do and I do want to move this house back and that requires me talking to Klaus and I'm just not ready to do that so instead up here for Cleo's house I've cleared it all out and I decided that we're going to make a little gyroid like forest if that makes sense. I want to put some trees, a little pathway, flowers some like stone items and just like all of the gyroids that we can. I think that would look super cute and just like a little like chair, just some real backyard gyroid, like garden gnomes but gyroids. So that's going to be our plan today. I did do a bunch of crafting so we should pretty much be good to just like get straight into it. Additionally I did go to a cap and island and we got some carrots so I do actually need to go and plant those. So I might quickly do that first. I did also check my turnips this morning and they're selling for a hundred bells and again sorry for all of this app talk but according to my app it does have a larger chance of spiking up really high so fingers crossed for that but I'm just gonna plant our carrots in the back here. Okay those are the carrots planted. Very slowly decorating this entire space. I feel like we're making progress like really good progress. I know I say that each time and the decorating only gets like minusculely more but still. Okay, I want to get this little space over here done first. So I think what we're going to do is retake this path down around through here. I think up through here and we'll do another bit of the like brick stone area through here. And then yeah, bring it back up here. That's going to be the plan. I'm going to go on path and I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up the path and then I placed these little tables. I do want to customize them, but customization kits are expensive. I spent most of the day doing a ton of seed diving to get some more money so I think I'm gonna keep doing that on my like downtime from this challenge but for now I just want to like place some items so this is definitely what we're going and then we've got the brick oven here and so I'm just quickly gonna do a path through here okay I've just brought over a couple more trees to place down here I'm like so happy with how this place is coming along I'm gonna pop a tree just in here and I think as well just one more here Awesome. Okay, I definitely want to get like a table sort of here maybe with like a coffee machine and stuff, but I don't have a table yet and I don't want to use this. I want to get like a smaller table. I have, I think, one table on the island, but I don't really like how it looks. So I'm just going to grab a couple of flowers and then I think we'll get ready to do the little gyroid area upstairs. Okay, I definitely think as well I'm going to get some more log stakes up in here. Okay, so this is the space so far. Definitely, as I said, I'm going to get some more customization kits a bit later on because they are super expensive and I just have other things that I want to pay off first. But even then, I really like how this looks. I definitely want to cook some food for this space as well. So I've got a couple of food items that I like want to make. I definitely think pizzas and pies and stuff will go well here. So those are definitely for later dates. As I said in a previous video, definitely we'll have to go through and do some more final decorations everywhere but I think if we can get the path and the base of everything done then we'll be in a really awesome position. Okay now up next is this space here. I don't think I have many pine trees so I am actually gonna go to the shop and buy... oh no I will go and buy some pine tree starters. Was there a... no no I'm lazy. Let me go get some oranges and then we'll just dig up the pine trees on the level below. Okay, I'm going to, I think, path first. Try and bring a path around this lake. I like how this lake is, so I want to leave it there. But I definitely want to, I think, just end it here. I want to do something else here, but I'm not too sure what just yet. So let's go ahead and path this bad boy up. 
Okay, so I've done this path through here. I'm going to go ahead and plant in the few trees that we have. Okay, awesome. We've popped this through. I'm going to place down a couple of the gyroids as well now. And then I do have some fossils that I think would look super nice in this area. So I do want to grab them too. Okay, we've got a couple of little gyro dudes around. I've just added these couple of fossils. They look super cool. I've also just added some gyro fragments. Well, the one that I had in my inventory. Because I mean, I can always go and plant and dig up more. Can I have a quick look to see what DIYs we can get? I think I kind of want to get the... That's what I wanted to do. I need to make more of these. I wanted to do a like fencing right on the back. I'm gonna go grab those and make some more. I might make a couple of stone stools to place through as well. I'm gonna grab some stone. While we're just making these, I also think it is about time that we do another villager hunt. We've technically only done one and I've been really preoccupied with decorating and trying to get the island done because that's the premise of the challenge. But I do be thinking that it's time that we do finally do a uh, Nook Miles hunt. But it also depends on who wants to leave. I would love for Lucha to have a thought bubble. I mean, at this point, this is a Lucha leave the island club. <laughs> Having Vic have a thought bubble too would be awesome, but it would be fun to do another hunt, I think, at some point. I'm just going to place all these fences just on the back here as like a little backdrop in a sense. Okay, I've gone and placed the fencing. I think it looks really cool. I did place another random gyroid fragment. I have just been so in the zone decorating today that I've barely commentated. I'm so sorry for how short this video probably is. Last things I've got are a couple of stone stools and some log stakes as well. So let's go ahead and try and place them around. And then I did also make this stool. So I might place it here and then realistically we can just have these as two separate areas maybe. You can still technically get through. Maybe I'll just get rid of this. I'm just gonna place that there because it's the only thing I've got in my inventory. And then we'll pop these log stakes here. And I think that that is this for now. Yet again, I'd love to get more flowers in here. Don't really want another tree in here, but definitely more flowers and more gyroids when we get them. So I definitely think that there is not a huge ton of room for improvement, but lots of stuff that we can do. I've got to figure out what I want to do for this area. I did kind of want to have it fitting in with the flower area downstairs, but also it would be cool to have it fit in with the campsite area. Area. Maybe we can get like a big flower meadow field with like a big campfire and stuff. Maybe we can do that. I don't know. But I think that is going to be it for today. Actually, let's quickly go and check our turnip prices while we're all here. And I think just in my time off, I'm just going to continue to do all of my daily tasks, continue to time travel, but also like I just want to get more things from time traveling. So actually, I know what to put in the back there. Oh, I know what to put in the back there. Turnip prices are 185 bells. That's really good. They reckon it's going to keep going up. So I'm going to leave it. I'm hoping 300. If, they, if it goes to 300, that's when I'll press sell. But... I guess we'll just wait and see. But anyway, back to back to my plans and ideas. I reckon if we can get enough little like cushions and stuff, we could totally make a cinema. I really want to get a simple panel. I don't know if there's like a particular, like how do I even get one of those? But that would be so cool to have a like big old rug, maybe close this up a little bit and then have like some panels as like a TV, like a little cinema. But I think that will be cool. Okay, so that's what we can do with this area. And then once we finish that, we'll probably do that one tomorrow. We will have this. Actually, we won't. We will almost have this entire back end done. I think I'm going to extend this rug as well. I'm just like making plans for tomorrow. As for as for Klaus's house, we got to figure out what we what we can do. At the end of the day, the house doesn't necessarily need to be moved. It's not in too bad of a spot. And this can just go to like, we can make this a secret path to go you know behind here to the secret beach but we just need some ideas okay i don't know if i'll get this part done by tomorrow but what do you think we should put here for klaus's house it could be something as simple as like a little decorating we're hopefully not going to have class by day 30 that is the plan but i think if we can get this entire back end done pretty much in a sense is like back left corner of the map done then that'll be really awesome we've pretty much got like a, a good quarter of the map done which is really cool i also additionally need to figure out what i want to do with my house if i want to move it up to a cliff up here or keep it where it is i don't mind where it is but i don't know what to put around it but anyway i'm going to leave that one here i would love to hear what you guys are thinking of the island so far and any particular areas that you would put in i'm really happy with how we're putting along with everything for this challenge i definitely feel like we can decorate the island by the end of the 30 days but the challenge is i think we're not going to have a lot of items or we're not going to have enough items we're just going to keep working through i'm doing a couple of different islands to get some more diys and everything and hopefully now that we have a larger nook cranny it can store some more stuff i might just end up doing like 
six time travels during the day without recording and then leave the last day on here so we can do all the decorating bits but fingers crossed fingers crossed money flows swiftly to us fingers crossed dom's photo soon and fingers crossed we can get this island done anyway besties if you do enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it does help me out so much more than you'll ever know but anyway on that note besties i will catch all of you guys tomorrow bye everybody